Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. We've recently had the opportunity to head over to Sydney for a few days and we took the chance to do a complete tour at Auto House Hamilton. These are one of the premium Porsche dealerships and restoration shops here in Australia. So let's take a cracking tour. A nice 356. Yes. C? Uh, yes. Yeah, it looks like a C. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. The double white's nice with the white inside. This, this will be you all over. Yeah, I love this. Look at the interior. Oh, wow. So this is a... English 76 3 litre, just arrived in Australia. Still on its English number plate, 76 on the R. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely a stronger gold colour. Mm. Oh, it's clean, isn't it? Isn't it? There we are. Look how clean that is. I think this Tommy cars are all rusty. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh, wow. Cars that aren't looked after get rusty. Yeah, that, that's been uh, cherished, hasn't it? Yes, that's done 30-something thousand miles. Oh, 30. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And then there are lots of... 928. Yes, we don't do huge... You don't see many of them? Because the chap in Sydney has always done 928s and done them really well. Yeah. He again worked with nearly everybody here and that's his specialty. Increasingly we're seeing more of them. A growing in popularity. They're growing in value and popularity yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of a sudden people are finding grandfather's car in the shed. Morning Stewie. You had your chance to be famous, you were going to be on... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stewie's another one of our imports. <laughs> There's lots of people that have blown here from other parts of the world. But lots of restoration projects that are here and they come and go um, yeah if you've been here a year Lovely ago colour. this would have been a pile of rust and bits and doings and uh, yeah look so at this that. is this is a short way into its journey you go around you and uh, no doubt done the hard yards though somewhere in the organization there's a, there's a shiny engine waiting to fall into it yeah but we have lots of, and, and you see them over a long period of time, they come here and we do the mechanicals, but we don't profess to be trimmers and we don't profess to be paint experts, so they come here and then they go and, and stuff happens to them. And you see over months, often years, you see the same car rolling over and over again. We might actually go next door and have a quick look at an orange car at some point that has been a friend and has come and gone and that's... Um, oh, okay. Uh, that's a 1970 model 911S, so there were about Ooh. five in that year, but it's a matching numbers Australian Ooh. car, which is just lovely. Yeah, that's very nice, that though. Yeah. Colours, uh, uh, unique. Um, or gearbox. Gearbox from a 356, I guess. Yeah, yes. it looks like it. Um, and again. Always got a soft spot for a TOG. This has got a new floor just gone into it. Yeah, that's um, man, you don't see many older targs that are. So yes, that the didn't start life as a sporto. Yeah. Um, yeah, that one definitely. And if that cool. engine's going in it, it's going to look cracking, isn't it? And there's a, that, that's what happens when we finish putting the back together. They look nice and brand new again. No, doesn't it? Doesn't that look nice? Yeah, screw your money. Yeah, nine nine three turbo. Yes. Nice to have the two turbos together. There we go. That's a car I sold brand new. Oh wow. Yes, there's a huge number of cars we see here that came out of Willoughby back in the day and just uh, cycle through and just and we see them again and again. So uh, my business, my job here is to try and retain the car and find another owner for it. <laughs> when the owner either loses interest, <laughs> becomes old or, or doesn't want to drive anymore. 408 horsepower, brand new. Yeah. Which is 300 kilowatts. Yeah. Save the maths. 
and they were dyno testing engines and these days they were randomly taking engines to the factory they were spinning them and I set one dyno tested and it had 427 horsepower and I went oh that's good isn't it and the, the engineer said no that's about right most of them are about that he said minimum 408 he said but most of them are 420 430 I said why don't why don't you put that he goes because it's 300 kilowatts that's a good number <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice in a brochure typical Porsche so yeah um, most of these had more than they said on the box new Porsche back in the day the performance number was of a brand new car unrun in 75 kilos of luggage two people and a full tank of fuel so once they've actually loosened up most of them went a little quicker than the, the book suggested yeah unlike, good point. which was typical German unlike most people who took Ferrari Lamborghini's numbers and tested them never got the same disappointed sort of yes uh, one one was very conservative, the other nation possibly a little bit more excited about their yeah. performance figures. You know, my first whole year of working in Australia, nationally they sold 82 cars across the whole country. Oh wow, now, Porsche, that's not... That was 1992, so I was here at the end of 91, but 92 was uh, 82 registrations nationally. Last year it was almost 6,000 cars sold in Australia. So here, we did, we did pass this one, but this isn't a Weiss Gold. Paint sample 930. And it's uh, 1985, so it's the last of the Levy cars in Australia. Australia had that bizarre ahead of the rest of the world when we got to the Levy petrol in 1986. Yeah. Really catching most of the manufacturers out, so that's why there are no 86 turbos, no 87, no 88, yet most of the rest of the world had turbos all the way through without, without a break. Um, it's strange because mine's an 85 as well. Black interior, but just that different colour. It's so, so similar. It, you'll have the same 231 horsepower engine, which carried on the rest of the world, but not Australia. Australia went to air pumps and emission controls and catalytic converters. Two, 231 was it? 231 brake horsepower in your car, and that fell to about 204-ish. Um, with all the emission stuff that they put on to try and reach Australian conditions. Oh, a 914. Hey. Right, a 914 6. Hey. Oh, it's a 6, is it? Yeah. Oh, I should have known that by the uh, number plate. Normally they're a little bit flared at the rear. That's the second one of those I bumped into this weekend. Iconic colour. Yes. Yes. There you go. Wow. What, an car. what a showroom. So these are some of the motorsport cars we look after behind are some of the long term storage cars. Whew. This is a bit special as well, isn't it? This this is a completely restored in fact 72. 71. 71 route. Is it 71? Yep, Australian delivered matching numbers. Here we go. I'll... That is lovely, isn't it? That's... You know the cars you saw next door that were in them? Yeah. This has been here a long time and is now lovely. Yeah, it just stands out, doesn't it? There are... Oh, look at that. Thousands of hours in this rig, aren't there? Yeah, absolutely. Thousands and thousands of hours. Yeah. So, what were you doing in 1971? Well, me, I was doing nothing. <laughs> I still had three years to turn up. <laughs> I, was, uh, well, I was going to a, a prep school in the UK. I would have been less sad if I'd been going in one of these, I had to say. Wow, it is. But, yeah, that, this again was a, a pile of doings and dents and rust when it came in, and now it's... Uh, you can just tell by looking at it at the front that the paint is deep yeah that's not hard to tell motorsport cars the green's always nice in a 911 here we go you're the 930 person look at here that I traded this car in yeah. 1994 at Porsche Willoughby <laughs> and we traded for $48,000 and we decided it was a little bit too old to keep so we wholesaled it um, it's had a number of owners since then. 
it got sold at Shannon's auction in 2018, supposedly is the best one in the world. Then it came here and the owner said, can you fix everything that's wrong with it? Um, a significant amount of money was spent. Um, do, we, do we know what it went for at Shannon's? Uh, I think it was 275. Well, uh, yeah. And the gentleman, the owner has spent more than 140 on it since. And now it really is a nice car. Yeah. Colour of the era, isn't it? Palisander. 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 Some countries was referred to as rosewood, but the official Porsche colour was Palisander, which is apparently an ornament that's made out of rosewood. Yeah, because although you think it's kind of brown, it's yeah. kind of bronzy as well. Absolutely. Isn't it? And how flared were your trousers at the same time? <laughs> Probably the same kind of colour back in the day. Wool and itchy. Oh, it's just fantastic though. <laughs> yeah. No, very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's a lovely there car. Avra just disbanded. Duran Duran were just bringing out their number one hits. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, you could be listening to Rio as you drive down. <laughs> There's a Melbourne car, Carrera S. Came out of Melbourne originally. Blow in the grey is a nice touch on the interior. It's a very European touch. It's funny, it's, it would sell better in Melbourne than it would in New South Wales. Mm. I find Melbourne's more traditional European colour combinations, yep. almost English, th that would work really well in the UK. Mm. Um, no, you see it through the, the window there against the blue, that's really nice. That has just taken our attention, that 356. That's just changed hands. That is a gorgeous colour on that. Use. Yes, it's not the, it was originally ivory with red. The owner about 17 years ago oh. changed it. That is uh, lapis blue, which was a Porsche color of the early 2000s. Yeah. Which is probably not ideal. It has electric windows. It's not matching numbers. It is a left to right conversion. But it's a reasonably inexpensive way of driving a 356. It's really good fun to drive in actual yeah, fact. And I, I, like my three, I, I have a 1963 which is completely not stock at all um, but I don't mind that about a 356 you know there's a bit of outlawing and modifying a 356 I and think you either have the most original you keep it that way or you have a quaffing car something yes. that you can actually jump into you can drive you can enjoy you can touch and feel and you know if it's a brilliant colour yes. and then we have cars over there that are waiting to begin that whole restoration. 964 turbo. More than that, it's got the wrong wheels on it because we're refurbing the wheels. It's a one of 12, 3.6 with the X88 kit. Now, Ooh. one of those is just sold in the UK via collecting cars. Uh, Jensen Button was the owner. Apparently he drove a bit. I think um, I might have seen that being advertised. The Horizon Blue well. Metallic, which was a medium-y light blue metallic, uh, and has just sold for a decent number. This started life in Brunei, and uh, has now found its way to Australia. Collector here, we're doing a bit of work on it for him. They do come in some lovely colours, don't they? Mm. Ice Green Metallic from 1985. Oh, love that. Great number plate as well with that 930 yes. ice. <laughs> yeah, that is a ice cream belter. A few under restoration here. Where it starts. On 11, and then that looks like an A as well yes. under resto. Bodywork finished. And then probably a B. Yeah. Customs car that was started life as an American car. Yeah. Don't know huge about about it, but it's here while we wait for some parts. Yeah. You know, some of these long term services, you know, they'll come here with a, a list drawn up and then some of the parts will be harder to obtain. So yeah. yeah. It it's never gonna be a daily now. driver, so the customer tends to leave the car here and uh, you know we'll give it back to him when it's all done. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, that this will be lovely when it's done. This will be, and that just to get to that point, unfortunately, represents a lot of time and a lot of a lot of. Is that a bent process. window as well in that? 
It's got a, it looks like it's got a split screen, so it must be a very, very pre A. Pre A, yeah. yeah. 76, uh, spent life as a race car, has been brought back from a race car to a road car. Okay. And consequently, it's very light, it's very dark, it is really good fun to drive. It's just found a new owner uh, who'll be picking it up very shortly. But it's, uh, it's a fun thing to drive, it's mm. a fun thing to be part of. Uh, there is, y you drive cars that have spent life and been developed as race cars and then they've gone back to being road cars with light and flywheels and quick changes and mm. good fun to drive. Modern RS GT3. Yeah. Which, awesome car, I mean just fantastic machine, however... I like the black and the green combo. It, there's an inter divided. People are really divided. You either yeah. really like that green. It's got a Vysar pack. Um, you know, green cage, green seats, green stitching. Yeah, I don't mind that. Um, lots of people love it. Some people go, oh dear, that's a bit too far. You've jumped into a GT3 RS. Everything is going to be too far, isn't yes. it? There's, there's nothing subtle going on here. This is all about you know fun and uh, and driving and playing with it. A first exclusive car, Porsche Cars Australia, produced a 997. So last manual, last Metzger, last turbo to have all of those, and they produced it with every single exclusive option that you could possibly get: interior colour to sample contrasting stitching everything that could be leather covered is leather covered and they even put a little plaque on the door to say this is a, uh, a one-off and something special now that's just found a new owner i sold it last five years ago uh, it's just found a new owner again wow uh, very very special car. so it is a one of one really it's a one of one so here we go i think i think we can zoom in on that i hope that picks that up one of one we might get a photo just to see it so the interior is kind of like a... It's a blue, right? Blue, it's yeah. Colour, yeah. Manual car. But manual and 3.6. Let's go engine. Well, there we go. Massive thanks to Anthony for the tour and David for helping us set it up. Uh, brilliant tour. Thanks very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Loads more coming as we get out and about a little bit more in Australia and some other places coming up very soon. Give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later, guys. Bye!